Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Hong Kong Model S Death and Dismemberment Brings back memories of past horrors CNN content warning. This story contains descriptions of violence that readers may find disturbing. Hong Kong CNN. The postcard image of Hong Kong is one of glittering skyscrapers set against lush mountains, dim sum restaurants, and investment bankers in suits. But in recent weeks, the the international financial hub has made headlines again for something darker. The death of model and influencer Abby Choi, whose dismembered body parts were found last month in a rented apartment, along with a meat cutter and a power, saw a the death of the 28-year-old mother, has more than one city regularly ranked as one of the world's cities, horrified at its safest but keeping many of the world's media preoccupied with the grisly details of her alleged murder. For Hong Kongers, painful memories have also surfaced of previous instances of dismemberment in the city, many targeting young women, and almost all were perpetrated by men. There is the dr the so-called Hello Kitty murder of 1999. When 23-year-old fan man Yi was kidnapped by gang members and brutally tortured for a month before dying and being dismembered, her skull was eventually found sewn into a Hello Kitty plush doll. There the four women, the youngest just 17 years old, were killed by a taxi driver who kept their dismembered body parts in jars before his arrest in 1982. Then came 16-year-old Wang Kamui who was strangled and dismembered in 2008, and her remains flushed down a toilet. And in 2013, Glory Show and Moon Siu were murdered and dismembered by their 28-year-old son, a crime described by the judge as evil and absolutely heinous. Tons of headlines followed each murder. But for all the media attention, experts point out that such cases are exceptionally rare in Hong Kong a city with an incredibly low violent crime rate for its 7.4 million residents. Only a few dozen murders are committed in Hong Kong each year, compared to several hundred in New York. No place to hide a body at Eric Broadhurst, a professor emeritus of criminology at the Australian National University who was previously based in Hong Kong where he founded the Hong Kong Center for Criminology. Estimates there has been in the city for the past 50 years. There have been about a dozen instances of dismemberment for years. Philip Be, a semi-retired forensic pathologist who previously worked with Hong Kong police, gave a slightly lower estimate, saying he can recall fewer than 10 such cases in his 40-year career. Both experts stress that Hong Kong is still very safe and these numbers are relatively low. Indeed, Hong Kong's reputation for safety meant the few cases that did emerge left a stronger imprint on the city. Broadhurst said of life in Hong Kong, simply put, it is a lot harder to hide a body in the densely packed city, home to tiny apartments, and some of the most densely populated neighborhoods in the world. Someone trying to dispose of a body in rural areas of Australia Canada or the United States, has a very good chance of getting away with it, Bess said, thanks to the large space and open terrain. Not so in Hong Kong. These are essentially people who try to get away with a crime, but don't he do it, Bess said. A killer in Hong Kong will most likely live within meters of dozens of people, who might see them attempting to dispose of a body prompting some to dismember victims into smaller pieces for disposal. Most people live in shared accommodation and blocks on top of each other. We don't have people with houses and yards where you can go out and dig a hole and try to bury a body, Bess said. One is never really alone. Your neighbors are above you, below you, next to you. Anything out of the ordinary gets someone's attention. Broadhurst agreed, pointing out that an apartment building killer may have to climb into an elevator, shared by more than 100 households, just to get outside. Few cars or freezers unlike practices in other countries. Keeping the corpse in the freezer, throwing it in the water late at night, 
Hong Kong's density poses another difficulty. In the notoriously expensive housing market, apartments are usually too small and cramped for large ones. Apartments, furniture, or kitchen appliances. Very few people have large refrigerators in their homes. Beth said. Even fewer have freezers. You can tea even keep the body if you wanted to. He added that the same scarcity applies to cars. And therefore, the same difficulty in transporting a body discreetly. Few residents own vehicles because buildings with parking spaces are expensive. A parking lot sold for nearly one million dollars in 2019, a record. And the city has an extensive, efficient public transportation system anyway. So the bodies of victims. Like that of her husband in 2018, woman murdered and kept in a suitcase, or the 28-year-old man whose body was found in a cement block in.